Just firstly, tell us how many sharks do we actually have in our oceans? Interestingly, worldwide we have over 500 species of sharks in our waterways. In Australia we have 180 species and sharks occur from our nearshore areas of our rivers and our coastal waterways to our deepest depths. So sharks are incredibly um, fascinating, they can occupy a diverse array of environments. Just tell us briefly exactly what makes a shark a shark? You know, a shark is a type of fish and it has, um, un unlike its relative, the bony fishes, it has, sharks have a skeleton that's made of cartilage. Sharks have, instead of a swim bladder like um, bony fishes do, shark ha ha sharks have a, a big liver that's full of oil that assists them to be buoyant and keeps them afloat. Sharks also have between five and seven gills and sharks, unlike fish, they don't have scales. They've got very tough, abrasive skin that's covered in dermal denticles. And this allows them to be incredibly streamlined and um, very hydrodynamic. Wow, interesting facts. Sharks have an amazing um, morphology to enable them to thrive in the marine environment. Um, they have powerful jaws. They've got the cartilage skeleton that's um, very light and flexible. They have a highly developed caudal fin, which is the tail, which allows them to swim at incredibly fast speeds. They also have um, highly developed senses of smell. So humans, we have five senses, but sharks have six. And let's run through them. So we have our eyesight, hearing, we have, the sharks have taste as well, in the, um, taste buds in their mouth. They have an amazing sense of smell. They have a lateral line, and this line is um, sensory organs that run along the side of the animal from the head to the tail, and they detect vibrations of, the, um, of animals in, in the water, and that's a great sensory adaptation so that they can get their prey. But an, a really amazing feature that sharks have is they have electroreceptors, and these are called ampullae of Lorenzi. And these are chili like pores that are distributed around the snout of the, the shark. And these detect electrical, uh, electric currents in the water. And they help the shark navigate through its, the ocean uh, and as well as detect the prey. So saying this, let's have a look here at the, the jaws that you've brought in. And these are from three different types of sharks. Could you just talk so, us through these? So a key feature of sharks are their, their jaws and their tooth um, structure. Each shark has a very distinct t um, tooth shape and so the, the, the size and the shape of the teeth are key identifying factors um, for sharks. So if we look at the jaws here, this is um, one of my favourite, the tiger shark jaw. And we can see if we look at the upper jaw, the teeth are very curved and highly serrated on each side of the, the tooth. Similarly, if we look at the lower jaw, the, t the style of the, the tooth is similar on the upper and lower jaw. If we look at the bull shark, the bull shark has very broad triangular teeth that are serrated on both sides, but the, the lower jaw, they have more slender um, teeth and, and the shape of the teeth is narrower. If we look at the great white shark, our largest predatory shark in our ocean. It has very large, broad, triangular teeth and they're very um, serrated on each side and similar on the lower jaw, but slightly um, narrower. So the, the sharks, the powerful jaws, the, uh, the teeth structure enables them to survive and be apex predators. Right, so these are features of the sharks that make them more successful predators in yep. the ocean. What are the diets of sharks? So depending on the species of shark, there's um, different species have different diets. So if we think about the largest shark in our ocean, that's the whale shark. They um, feed on plankton and krill in the water column by swimming. Um, tiger sharks, they've got the, the great cutting and, and serra serrated um, curved jaws. Um, teeth in their jaws, and they have a diverse diet. They can eat, they're they're opportunistic feeders. They're they're known to be scavengers. They can eat fish, sharks, other sharks, sea snakes, turtles, and and these teeth 
are incredibly good at cutting through the shells of, of sea turtles. The great white, its diet is, is very diverse. When it's a young shark, a juvenile, it um, predominantly um, consumes fish and other sharks. But when it gets uh, larger, around three to four metres in size, its diet, around four metres I should say, the diet starts changing and it, and it becomes more um, of mammals. They, they consume mammals. The bull shark, a very a great species close to my heart because it's one that I've spent a lot of time working on. It has a um, diversified diet. It, it consumes fish, rays, um, other species of sharks and and the teeth are well adapted for each of those um, prey items.